Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to implement our Blazor project employee management system. Let's get started. So first, open Microsoft SQL Server and there, see the server type is database engine. Then we have our server name and then the authentication. I'm going to use Windows authentication here. And then uh, from the connection security, select mandatory and uh, tick mark the uh, trust server certificate and connect it now let's create a new project uh, in the list then here search for blazor web app and you will get blazor web app then select it and go to next and here give it a name I'll keep it Blazor app YT and then click next and here select the framework uh, I'll select .NET 8 uh, it's long term support here uh, I'm not going to use any authentication so it's none and then uh, interactive render mode select server and the next keep it as it is and click create Our project is created now inside the component see we have a layout main layout and our navigation menu and inside page we have counter home weather right now if we run the uh, program at home page see we have the hello world print and welcome to our new app and in counter we can click it it will increase the counter value and we have a weather data date temperature summary now let's close it now from the view let's open server explorer and let's connect with our database so here we need our server name let's go to our SQL server management studio click on properties and here you will get this is our server name and to copy this we can go inside and from there we can select it and copy it close now let's go back to our visual studio and paste our server name here and then the authentication as i said we are going to use windows authentication and trust server certificate and here we will give a database name employee db yt server and then we will create this database see would you like to attempt to create it yes now the database is created and inside this we don't have any table now let's install all necessary packages go to tools nugget package manager now from here go to browse close this and there source entity framework core from there first install the Microsoft dot entity framework core select the project and click install apply accept and then also Microsoft dot entity framework core dot design so click install apply accept and yes, we also need the SQL server so let's install it then let's add our tools now in the dependencies packages see we have we have entity framework core and design SQL server and tools and let's install another package Mart Blazor as we are going to use it in our project in this project apply accept now close let's delete our unnecessary component weather and also counter 
Now click on the project name Blazor App YT. Then right click, add a new folder, name it models, and inside models, let's create our model class. Let's name it employees. Inside this public integer id and then public string name public string designation public double salary and let's set uh, the name record and same for the designation full masses error masses and there let's write a message like name is record so let's just copy this and paste for the designation and here the designation is record right let's just copy and paste it designation is record so that's all now save it and then uh, click on the component and go to option add then new scaffold item and from there go to razor component select razor component using entity framework and then crude operation click add and from here uh, the template we can select very different option like we can create only the create option edit delete details of the list and then we will select our model class employees see our project which is blazor app yt dot models and inside this we have a model employees so select it so click plus and here we will set a db context name but now let's set my db context and click add and database provider we will select the SQL server now click add now it is scaffolding and it will generate all necessary code for us so just wait now see in the component pages we have now employees pages folder expand this and see we have all the crude operations pages like create delete details edit and index now let's connect this with our with our nav menu from the index copy the routing address and let's go to nav menu from here let's delete the weather and let's replace the counter with employees and in high go to tools nugget package manager package manager console i'm clearing the console let's add migration i will write first migration you can give it you can give it any name then press enter the build is started and build succeeded now let's update the database update database and click enter build started succeeded and it will create ddb context for us close the package manager console let's run the program go to employees see now the employee index is showing right and let's create a employee watch macram let's give it software engineering and let's set salary 35000 for example click create and see uh, our employee information is added to the list now let's another one Naimul Islam SQA let's say salary to 
50,000. Click. Now let's edit. Click on edit. Let's change UI UX designer and let's set this salary to 75,000. Click save. See the resignation and the salary is updated. And you also can click on the details to see the employees details and you can delete it just click on delete now let's close it see when we scaffold and when we connect database from here we don't need to add any connection string in the app setting by default it will do everything for us like here this server name you can add this manually right you can give the server name here for this go to properties connection properties then here copy go back and paste it at the same time you can remove the default database now we can name our database like employee db white employee db white save it now let's again run this program see now it's error the certification chain was issued by the authority that is not trusted so we need to add the server certification Rind or anyway trust server certificate and set it true now save it now relaunch the program now go to employees see now it's asking for the update database again from the tools package console I'm clearing it update database do you want to stop debugging yes okay close the run relaunch the program now click on the employees see now it's working and you can create wash macram AC create as we have updated the database so it's removed the previous data and now we have all new data let's create another one SQL now let's just give it a salary range that's it it will work like uh, the previous one the employees index and there let's make it a s3 employee list and there this one we can give make it a um, button like using bootstrap button button primary and we can write this plus add new employee add new employee this and also this button create h3 add employee information add employee information and let's remove this let's go to the end let's cut the uh, button and paste inside here and then cut the whole div and paste here okay uh, this create button is already good I'll change this to add and now let's give it a class button button I'll make it secondary now hot race go to browser see add and back now if you click on this add see the name is record the designation is record 
see here uh, we can see two masses right uh, the first here and also uh, below the field we can remove one uh, top one or the <coughs> so in the create see here we have data annotation validator and the summary we can remove one so we will remove the summary from the top now save it go to browser and click on add see now this the bottom message will sh show only name is required designation is required and the summary message from the top is remote now let's import mart blazer and there import using mart blazer then go to app and there add references paste those two in the head section and body section paste the and in the program.cs add builder.services dot add mart services and add those component in main layout to do thing first i have added this code from my github you can get it from the description i'll provide it now let's see what i have done here first see the mart button for the add employee button it has an hyper reference property which is used for routing to the employee create pages and then the variant is filled giving the button a solid look and then we have a start icon property to display an icon at the start of the button and lastly the color is set to primary which make the button blue next we have the math table which is used to display employee data dynamically the item property is bound to context.employee connecting the table to employee data from the backend the hover property is enabled which highlight rows when you have uh, hover on them and then the breakpoint this breakpoint property ensures that the table is responsive and adjust on a smaller screen and then we have the loading and the loading progress color the loading is set to true to show a spinner while the data is being loaded and the loading progress color is set to info giving a spinner a blue color inside this uh, table we have header content section the table header are defined using math table header math tes those header uh, represent the columns for uh, you know id name designation salary and actions then the uh, row template which define uh, how each row will display the data excel of data is represented using mat ed or math table data and inside this see we have context.id that display the id of employee and same way uh, name designation and salary that will uh, be loaded from the database and after that at the end see we have uh, another math table and uh, table data in this we have uh, three uh, action button edit view and uh, delete uh, the code section we initialize the uh, database context here this is done in the uh, in uninitialized lifecycle method to prepare the database connection we also implement the dispose async method to uh, properly release resources avoid uh, memory leaks now if we run the program and let's go to employee and see here we have a employee list and this is the mud button we added for add employee and here uh, the table header then the table loader as you can see it's loading and then we have our uh, table data and at the right side th those action buttons edit view until it so uh, i hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video if you found this video helpful please make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.